sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. We're cracking on with a massive series of Navy battles, in particular carrier versus carrier. So here are all your millions and millions of requests and the ones that are coloured we've done. So we've done, I don't know, 50 or something like that now. I've kind of taken on the subtask because of my weird brain at the same time of trying to model all of the world's carrier groups. And today we're hopefully kind of finishing off that phase if I've got everything right. So what we've got here, guys, is in the entire planet Earth, these are all of the fixed wing carrier groups, the fixed wing capable carrier groups. And we're trying to finish this off today. USA have the fixed wing. Nimitz uh, and Gerald Ford, they technically have LHAs as well, that they can do, you know, US Marine Corps carriers or, or changing over to Lightnings, but let's just stick for the main fixed wing. So US have got 10 Nimitz and one Gerald Ford. We do have the Nimitz and it's bug free and working. They have onboard Hornets and F-35Cs and after lots of messing around, we've got all that working. So these guys are done good models. It's not perfect, it will never be perfect, but it's, it's okay. Russia in real life has one Kuznetsov class carrier of which they run 90s SU-33s. All that's in, it's bug free, it's modelled, working. China have two times Kuznetsov class aircraft carriers. I know they're building other ones, but or at least one's operational, the Liaoning. I think, I think both are actually operational. They run from those J-15s and we've got all of that in and pretty much bug free now. So we've got China done. Next is UK. It has Queen Elizabeth class carriers. We've got that in. It's modelled. Carries F-35Bs, which we've got in. It's not perfect, but it's it's pretty good working now, and it's pretty much uh, all done. Don't forget supporting vessels. You've got Type 45 destroyers, which we've got in and should be fixed now and everything working. The Chinese have got the various Chinese assets, which we've mostly got modelled and working. The US have Ticonderogas and Ali Burks and whatnot, and we've got them and, and they're working. The Russians have Slavas, Kirov and whatnot, and we've got them in and working. Working. France, we've just got working. Charles de Gaulle is in there. It's a little bit buggy, but it's more or less in there and working. Launching Rafael M's, again, a little bit buggy at the moment, but more or less in there and working with Frem support ships and whatnot. And we've got them in and working. So that's France done, which leaves us today with the remaining four countries in the world that have fixed wing carriers India, Spain, Italy, and Japan. I've also got the other countries that don't have any fixed wing carriers, but do have LHD's uh, helicopter carriers that we may do a series on at some point, but not at the moment. We don't have the capabilities. Australia with the Canberra class, Brazil with the Atlantico, uh, Egypt with the Mistral modified class, South Korea with the Dok Du, Thailand with the Chakri, and Turkey with the Anadolu. So maybe that's for another day, we'll see. So today is India, Spain, Italy, and Japan. Now, India runs a Kiev class, modified Kiev class, single carrier at the moment, featuring the MiG-29 uh, KUB. We can get a pretty close analogue. Kuznetsov is really not that different to a Kiev in the way it works, so we're going Kuznetsov. We don't have the MiG-29 KUB, but we do have a modified naval MiG-29S, which is really not that far out in capability. You've got support vessels, it's not perfect, but we think we can find relatively decent analogues for the support vessels. So that's hopefully India today on one side. Spain has Juan Carlos L61. I think it has another one as well, but either it's got that, it has fixed wing, and it currently still, 2021, runs Harrier 2s. Uh, that's great. However, we don't have the Harrier 2. We do have the Harrier 2 in DCS, but not the variant they use, not the one with the APG-65 and the AMRAMs. That's really problematic, and we'll come back to that. Which leaves us with Italy and Japan. Italy has the Cavour, is the 27,000 tonner and a smaller one, running the F-35 Bravo. Problem is we don't have the Cavour and we don't have the other one. And we've got no real analogues for them, so there you go. Japan has the Izumu, which they are still converting or have converted to F-35 capable, obviously hardened deck and hangars. And I'm told by my man Simba, who is in Japan at the moment, are currently running F-35 Bravos. Uh, so we've got these F-35 Bravos, we don't have the Harrier 2. We've got the Juan Carlos, but we don't have the Caval or the Izumu, and probably will never get them unless someone wants to step up and do them. So what we're going to do today is the absolute best we can do after lots of messing around of India with the Kiev 
and the MiG-29 and some support vessels versus a three-way axis of Spain, Italy and Japan all on one side. They're using the Spanish Juan Carlos L-61. We don't have the Harrier. We've got the real-life Spanish uh, support vessels. Thank you very much for whoever built them, of which there are five of the type that we've got and we've got them all. And we're using the Italian and Japanese naval aircraft, which are 12 F-35 Bravos from Italy and 12 F-35 Bravos from Japan, which are going to operate from the Juan Carlos after a couple of modifications. So that is the other side. That's inventive, right? Let's move on to today's fight in a bit more detail. So we have our usual grudge match. This is not supposed to be realistic. This is fun grudge match style just to see what would happen. We've got the blues today are the Spanish, Italian, Japanese joint axes. We've got at the center L61 Juan Carlos. On Juan Carlos are 12 F-35 Bravos from Japan, 12 from Italy. And to keep things simple, we've just armed them up all the same. Eight Amram Charlies and uh, a couple of Sidewinders. Uh, the usual thing applies, valued viewers. We cannot remove these pylons from the wings to make them go into super stealth mode. We just can't do it at the moment in game. It's the best we can do at the moment. They're all set to ace. They are set to take off, splay out left, right and center and basically shoot things down. And if they return to base, that's a bonus. That's as far as the AI goes. We don't want anything more clever than that. There are 24 in total. The ship can actually carry 25 aircraft, so all is realistic. Support vessels. We're very lucky to have this class is the F-100 Alvo de Bazon, sorry for pronunciation, class. Frigate, Penance F-100 to F-105. Modern uh, European vessels, I think. I think Harpoon capable, I definitely SM2 capable. There might be access set, I can't remember. Uh, I guess we'll find out. It's great to have the real vessels there. Thank you for making those guys. As well as that, they've got an AWACS. I've just put in an American AWACS, just to keep it simple. It's up there, 26,000 feet doing the thing. The whole group is sailing completely unrealistically at flank speed right into a massive battle. Would that ever happen? No, obviously not, but it's fun. And it can give us a mission that we can do within an hour with the guys. So it's the best we can do realistically. Let's look at the Indians. Indians are something very different. We haven't got many good analogs, unfortunately. The carrier's a pretty good analog. It's, it's near enough anyway. It's going to be the Kuznetsov playing a Kiev class. Unfortunately, we'll have the surface-to-surface -surface missiles, which I don't think the Kiev has. I may have that wrong, I'm not sure, but there's nothing I can do about that. On board are our analog for the uh, MiG-29Ks. We've got MiG-29S modified for carrier usage here. It's as close as we're going to get. 24 of the possible 26 on the Kiev in Iranian colours. It's again closest I can get my analogs here. Uh, they're equipped with archers which I believe is realistic, uh, R-77 adders, which are realistic, fuel. You could argue that the real Indian K models would use the KH-35 or 31, sorry, I forget. Anti-shipping missile, I apologize, we just don't have that capability in DTS yet. We don't have a suitable mod to work for that, so they are going to be air-to-air -air only. Don't worry too much about them being air-to-air, -air, only they are very useful to drain SAMs from, from a, a hostile, drain SM2s and whatnot. Air-to-air -air is very useful, so don't worry about there being no anti-shipping aircraft here. Again, they're tasked to climb, scramble, and just fight to the bitter end as most efficiently as they can at maximum skill level. Next are analogs for the F-48 Sapura and the F-49 Pennant Sayadri. The best, unfortunately, we can get is going to be the Type 05A Chinese design frigate. As close as we can get, there's not much we can do about it. And we've got Delta 64, Delta 65 Pennants, the Kolkata and the Shen Nai destroyers. The closest we can get are the Ali Burks. It's not perfect, but... It's the best analog we can get for that destroyer. And something a little bit different for those cheeky Indians. Rather than having another two at the rear battle group, they're sacrificing that. And they're going for three Corvettes they have. They do actually have this class. I think they call it the Via class from the Russian uh, 1241. Missile Corvette, which is going to fire sunburns, I think, which is realistic. They're going to come in from an off angle here and try and flank the Spaniards and see what happens. Uh, otherwise, they're all set to free fire. They will fire whatever they want and the AI will control them, I'll do nothing. They've got an AWACS, it's just a Russian one I've put in there. Which leaves us on to humans. On the blue side, the incredibly popular Cortana in a respawning F-35 Bravo from 60, 70 miles away here at Anderson. She's gonna be air to air only because, uh, no, you can carry bombs if you want Cortana, but I'm not sure what use you're gonna be, but they're there if you want them or whatever you can use Fair on that enough. plane. Uh, it's the same as Simba, you can go and take bombs and do whatever you want within the scope of your aircraft as well. Say hello Cortana, even though you have. How's it going? 
We've next got Simba 60, 70 miles away on Tinian. Simba's going to be in our analog for the MiG 29K. He's got his weapons there, but again, feel free to use rockets, bombs, whatever you want for whatever the mission is you want to do on that life. They'll have three, maybe four lives each. As long as it's equal, it really doesn't matter that much. I don't see them doing much damage, to be honest, uh, although I wish them the best. <gasps> Which, of course, leads us on to predictions. Cortana first, send. Um, I, you know, I really don't know what to think on, uh, on this one. I think a lot of it's going to come down to just how well... Uh, the ship, like, do you have it set up so that the ships hmm. can fire at each other? Yes, ships are going to be fired. I've not told them yeah. to fire, but they all will fire if they can, and they will. I, I think it's going to come down to how well they sort of volley fire mm -hmm. and just what's able to get into the air before things start, uh, Roger, before ships start dropping. Roger, if that's the way, I'm going to have a guess at the Reds because the Reds are using a lot of Russian gear and Russians always volley fire to begin with. However, we'll see. Simba, your thoughts, please. Well, so long as uh, Cortana doesn't drop a bomb on me, I think Ouch. my team will do well. I think your team. Okay, a lot of love for India going on. And on the stream, Hoggett says, India will lose the air war but win the ship-to-ship -ship combat. The Indians have a better chance with more Sams. So a lot of Indian love going on. Well, I'm going to go against you guys. I'm going to go for Spaniards, Italians, and Japanese, just because I want to be different. Standby, valued humans. Right, here we go. This is going to be really interesting, guys, and I have no idea what to expect. But start on three, two, one, go. Is it going to crash? Is it going to crash? Is it going to crash? We have a match. We have a match, guys. Cortana starting over there. Simba's starting over there. We just wanted something different, really. Uh, let's go and have a look at the Indians. Here is the analog for our uh, Kiev. You see our MiG 29Ks getting ready to take off. Looking sexy and ting. Let's have a look over here at the. Juan Carlos. Look at that, they are already air, the F-35s are already airborne. That is really quick. Really quick, look at that, wow. F-35, look, they're taking off from each other. <laughs> I did have the option of them spawning properly at the back and taxiing. It caused a few problems, I valued viewers, so I asked them to spawn on top of each other in the end. It just worked out a little bit easier. the end i preferred reliability over kind of cool looking stuff oh hello right all sorts of uh things going on here look at that mig 29k go go and slap those spaniards lots of anti-shipping missiles out trying to work out where they're coming from 54 a's uh these are the sorry i forgot the class name of the actual indians yes cordana i was gonna say those are the the ones that we're using the Chinese yes, ship is the... Yes, that's exactly right. So the... Wow, a whole bunch of them. Now, how many have they got each? Let me just try and re-familiarise myself. Okay, these are the launchers here. They're YJ-83's valid viewers. They're a bit like um, US harpoons. They've got eight each and they're fired immediately, which is... That's them. If they want to do that, they can do that uh, at a distance of 60, 70 miles. Uh, it's this missile here. It's a very potent missile, actually. Probably the best subsonic one in DCS. No, that's wrong. The RB-15 is the best one uh, in DCS. Interestingly, the, the Corvette have not fired at the moment. We've got the Via class Corvette here, I believe. Oh, and they're open. These are sunburns, valued viewers. These are incredibly powerful missiles. Supersonic, Russian-built. This is going to be interesting. Uh, not ready to fire yet, I don't think. Uh, yeah, they're opening all of their um, nacelles, look. There, they're firing, they're firing, the veers are firing. I knew they were going to do this. KH-41 Sunburn, incredibly potent supersonic missile. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. Do you, anyone in the world want that coming towards them? Mach 1.4 or about. Okay, so a massive barrage of Indo-Chinese-Russian missiles heading towards the Spaniards uh, at the moment. Now, here's an interesting thing. Because of the way I set the F-35 Lightnings up to get them bug-free, they are up very early. I wish they could shoot down missiles. That would be an incredibly useful thing for them to do at the moment. Almost too early, to be honest, but... So lots of Lightnings up. Already half a... Well, pretty much a squadron up already. Uh, so let's say the Italians, Italians are up. Wow, look at those sunburns. Look at all those sunburns. These should all be empty now. Empty nacelles. MiG-29s, not so much. Uh... Four MiG 29s up at the moment, otherwise, still going. That's 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any way that the defenses don't get overwhelmed by all of those yeah, missiles. Yeah, I would agree. It's the sunburns I'm worried about. The YJs, not so much. There's not that many of them. They're not that fast. The sunburns... Now, here's the weird thing, Valid Viewers. I actually did a practice before this, and the sunburns didn't... They didn't come in like this. So, again, put it, we've put it in multiplayer. There are different triggers going on, different logic going on. It's actually worked differently to how I practice it. So, it's going to be a surprise for me as well. Now, the ships we're fighting against are the F-100 series uh, Spanish vessels. How good are these? I have no idea. VLS equipped, you know, contemporary vessels. SM here they go, SM2. SM2's out. Uh, they do use SM2s in real life, I believe. So, here comes the defense at a range of already things are super hot 25 miles i don't want them to get overwhelmed because it will just make it a really short battle and it means we'll come all this way for nothing but let's see what happened guys now the only bad thing about the sunburns is they're high up and they've got a big cross section that makes them easy to shoot down but they're fast and that makes them hard to shoot down they're all hard to stop them before they get to the uh, those SM2s are going the wrong way. SM2s are going the wrong way. Oh, they're going after the uh, the slower missiles. Oh, dearie me. This be slightly... I'm not going to get there in time to do anything about the uh, KH-41. This may be... Yep. This may be true. It's Cortana. It's a shame, because I would love to have you in there gunning them down. Uh, okay, YJs are going down, but they're not targeting the sunburns, and they're just... I cannot figure out for the life of me why they're not targeting the sunburns. Scratch it. Sunburns down. Sunburns are being attacked now. Can they do it? Here's the problem with the supersonic missile, guys. You've got to shoot them down quick enough. You can hit them. Can you hit them quick enough with the, with the miss hit rate? That one's down. Distance from the front vessels is now in almost sea wish range. The SM2s are becoming more accurate at this point. Can they get through that network? Oh, absolute power. They're going down. If they can survive this, they can survive anything. Wow, they're doing incredibly well. Missiles are seven miles out and they're holding their own. Oh, I see one. Will they have enough SM2s? SM2 quantities are all built. Uh, Cortana's here Come and on. she's shooting missiles down. More well, SM2s up try. from the rear. I ooh, see one. Ooh, but, uh... ooh, ooh. An L100, an F100 boss is about to get hit. See, was out. Oh, good lord. This is Come bad on. for my blood pressure. Come on. See, Wiz. We've got a hit on an F100. That's a ton more head. It's broken its spine. It's taking it down to yellow life. There's a YAJ coming in. It's rising. It's getting through. Got through the sea is firing don't know why that's a 200 pound 400 pound warhead on that front f100 series and i think another one's going to get through yes sea whiz must be in a rear aspect sea whiz or something i don't know why it's not firing that's it another 400 pound warhead right in the bridge oh and a whole bunch of yj's coming in oh my god where do these come from uh, sorry, I can't cover the air war valley viewers. It's just too important to see what happens here because we could take the whole selection of ships. Cortana is merged with the YJs. All over you, Cortana. Come on, come on. Can't get in with the. No. Uh... It's problematic at best. Here they come. Sidewinders don't see them. <laughs> Front guy's down. Oh, oh the carry's going to hit. I burned all my gas. Roger. I was slightly worried about this one. Does the Juan Carlos have defensive capabilities? I'm slightly worried about all SM2s. It doesn't! Juan Carlos just took a 400 pound smacker in the face. She's damaged but not out. Damaged but not out. Oh my god, the damage is absolutely fierce, guys. In the Spaniard ranks. This guy's, this guy's firing. F100. Boom! Boom! Ooh, oh, dearie me. That's it. That's the onslaught that's happened. We'll come back and look at the damage in a minute. We've got too much of an air battle going on right now. Oh, Valley Viewers, I don't know. What do you want to look at? Uh, we've got all the things happening at the moment. Definitely a quick one. So many Japanese and Italian planes up in the air at the moment. 
SM2s are out for the uh, Lightnings. Those guys are not even sure what they're doing, but they're doing a thing. This is tracking this guy down. MiG-29K about to be destroyed. Can't dodge that Amram, sir. Boom! In the bot bot. Oh, I thought it was friendly fire for a minute. This guy is getting chased, hounded by this. No, oh, he's already dead. He's already dead. Or is he? Oh, this one's going to hit. This one's going to hit. He's used all his notch up. Ah, great driving, but just not possible. Lightnings are doing incredibly well in air to air combat at the moment. Really smashing these K models. More than a lot more than I thought. Our uh, adder out. Fox 3 missiles, but no way is they as good as a uh, Amram. That said, it's homing in on this lightning. Lightning's trying to dodge. Has added stealth. It's got the stealth. That will make a big difference. And it worked. It worked. Stealth worked. Wow, wow they're absolutely piling on these K models. Poor old Ks. But it also doesn't add up. Another dodge is the stealth. The stealth's making such a difference. It's allowing him to get those notches in where the, the Ks, no stealth, just can't get the notches in. No, just can't do it. They've just been outclassed by the more modern 5th gen fighter bombers. Again, we've got another adder out. Invaded again. Okay, HQs are coming out. These are really powerful SAMs. Really powerful. Better than SM2s. Really hard, even for a stealth, to dodge these. And they're doing it. Look at that. Things are really happening now, guys. Another add up. Stealth again. Look at that. Look at the difference it's making. None of the Russian missiles will track. Merge. They don't realise it. Just can't do anything about it. Conventional... Conventional guys mixed in with a bunch of fifth gen fighters. Time and time again, we see this. Also, overwhelmed in numbers. Good dodge! Finally, they notched something. We've got, we've got a hen in the. Uh, a fox in the hen house now, but. More missiles coming out. Amazing work from the Lightnings. I've never seen them fly this good, to be honest. They usually just run it. Wow! Hip! I think that our adder is tracking. Again, the stealth just doesn't allow it to be killed, look. Oh no, there he is. No, he didn't notch well enough. Finally, a lightning shot down. Wowza, wowza. Okay, okay, okay. The MiGs are still coming. The MiGs are still coming. SM2 is just not powerful enough to take down these stealth aircraft, look. Really good air fight going on. Simba is doing something. Simba's doing a thing. Simba's in. What are you up to, Simba? Oh, just, you know, trying what? to... Yes. See if these stealth know where I am. Watch out. Uh, right. Well, you better do something, because your buddies are all getting absolutely raped at the moment. I've never seen such a one-sided air fight, I must admit. And everything's the same skill level, guys, here. But it really helped that the F-35 got so many airborne so quick. Which is a bit weird how that happened, but still probably the best way of doing it. Big 29k. He's killed himself! The ace pilots are set to the same skill level, so there's no excuse for that. Okay, harpoons are coming out from the surviving vessels. We've got some time to have a look at the damage. Oh my goodness. Juan Carlos is damaged but op serviceable. Plus, we've got two F100 series frigates. Three are destroyed. One's half health. So you're still in it, Cortana. You're still in it. Uh oh, here come shipwrecks. Well, I was about to say you're doing well, but shipwrecks have just been launched. Now, here, this bit is a bit unrealistic because the Kiev, I don't think, has the shipwrecks. However, using the analog, I can't help it. I can't stop it firing. So, you suck it up, basically. It's the best I can do. Oh, adders. Adders airborne. I don't know. What am I supposed to look at? So much is going on. Okay, that K is too high. You can't notch up there. You can't notch up there. Ah! Good notch. Amazing work. Great. Oh, and a lightning went down. This guy's frigging... I don't know what he is. He's just good. Can he dodge this, though? He's all out of energy. He's too slow. He's not going to notch. Oh, twin simultaneous 70 pound warheads in the face. Wow. Wow, we. There is so much going on at the moment. I don't know what to look at. Is that friendly fire? No. So many Amrams in the air. Is that friendly fire? Is that friendly fire? I'm amazed there hasn't been more friendly fire at this point. Is that a friendly fire? It is. It's friendly fire. Is it going to happen? If you're going to use Fox 3 missiles, 
Jones, American missiles chasing American planes and he's down. It's inevitable, I'm afraid. It happens. It happens in all of our, all, all but our fights as well. Okay, the shipwrecks are getting to the Simbas coming in from a flank attack. The shipwrecks are now hitting these uh, the Spaniards. I don't think the Spaniards have got any SM2s left. SM2s, plenty of SM2s on the uh, Indian side to shoot these guys down. Look at that. Absolutely smegging it. Now, here's the big problem. The Spaniards haven't left anything in reserve. The SeaWiz is completely not working. That's not a me problem, Valley viewers. And that, I'm afraid, is a ton warhead and it's broken the back of the ship. Dog, damn it. A real problem. Let's see how that plays out. But I'm worried about um, Juan Carlos's state of health now. The harpoons that came out from the L100s are not doing so good. Simba's merged. Oh, Simba's dead. That's what you get for messing with 5th uh, Gen Simba. Cortana had a cheeky shot out of Simba as well. I get the feeling that's going to go pit bull and smack one of her own friends down, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, she's holding the lock to try to prevent that. But, Roger, you, you know, got, you got about 30,000. Fox 3 is being what it is. All MiG 29Ks are dead. All MiG 29Ks. Air superiority was absolutely total today. It really was. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Juan Carlos is going down. That's a ton warhead going on Juan Carlos. It was short-lived, Valley viewers. It was a good fight, but it was short-lived. She's got nothing to defend herself with, at least in this analogue. I'm sorry. Boo, ton warhead. She's a tough gal. She needs more than that to take her down. I'm guessing all the SM2s have launched from here. Looks like it's got more than that, but I don't know the quantities. Nothing is getting through the Indian barrage. Another time Warhead's about to hit Juan Carlos. Oh, it's so sad to see. She's burning. I don't want to know how many men are on there. Too many, valued viewers. Too many. Booms down. The game has been won by the Indians, but we are going to carry on until the bitter end, guys. But let's face it, everyone wants to see boom, boom. There's plenty to happen still. Uh, and remember, Cortana can go bombs if she wants and start attacking ships. So this is all a thing. If we can run them out of Sam's, we've got some time. HQ. Oh, look, the uh, Corvette's been fired at. They're pretty superfluous now anyway. They don't really matter. This HQ-16 uh, is not quite as good as HQ-9s, but very good. As you can see, they're nearly... Nearly had him. Wowza, wowza. There is Cortana. Uh, yep. What Cortana's trying to do is hunt these missiles down. It is absolutely possible, but it is an incredibly difficult thing to do. Uh, to get it on the radar. There, she's got it. Nice missile. I'm not sure that the, uh... I don't know if it's got the legs. Aim 120 has the energy for this. Yes, yes, especially down so low. Well, let's go and have a look. It's guiding, and that's a good work to keep it locked. Presumably football. Now, where is it? She's trying to save her last ship. Problem is, as she was saying, I don't think that one's gonna. Yeah, it's a shame, and that's the problem. Yeah. It's Mac 1.4. No, it didn't do it. Here Even we go, another one. Yeah, absolutely. Come on. It's, it's the problem. Here's the problem. That missile can go faster than Cortana can down here. That's the problem she's got. Hit and kill. Nice work. You can actually save your last remaining vessel if you kill the last P, uh, the last uh, shipwreck. Sss. The last shipwreck. Sss. Searching. Uh, on your, on the usual axis. Um, you are merged with one now. It's passing you on your starboard. Good shot. Damn. That's a good. That might be a good shot. Is it going active? 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 It is. It's tracking. And that is a amazing work, Cortana, shooting down the supersonic shipwrecks. Amazing work. Uh, there's only two more to go, uh, Cortana, and then you've saved that ship. There's only two more to go, which is uh, pretty sterling work. Ooh. Eyes on the next one. Yep. Uh, what? Only problem is I think this is my last Amram. That's problematic. So it's going to get a little bit sportier. Yeah, and she can't actually uh, catch them up with guns, unfortunately. Uh... Did that not fire? It did, but you're so low it went into the uh, went straight into the drink. So sidewinder, sidewinder, uh, on the nose, incredibly quickly. And it's a chase fight. Oh, 
Oh, it bent, oh, it bent, it bent. I didn't. Bent, it, it just didn't quite hit. Yep, I'm not going to be able to get that. No, you're not. It was a valiant effort. All right, where's the next one? You're done. There's uh, two moves have got past that's you, and that's it. Yeah, chase it down. Hope for the best. Right, uh, I need to look at the other wall. Where is my Simba Wimba? He's on his way back. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen lightnings plus Cortana. Only nine have been shot down. That really is quite amazing. So sad because Cortana almost, almost saved her ship. And technically, she could go veto land on that ship. But this one just, and that's a ton warhead, it will literally break the back of the ship. It's heroic work, you will be recognised by the Spaniards. Really useful uh, seawiz going on there. Oh, it's so sad to see, it really is. Such a lovely ship, uh, it's dead. A warhead that size, there's not much that can survive it. Right, however, there are still harpoons on the way to India, so... The legacy, the ghost legacy of Spain still lives. We've got harpoons in the air. And these guys will run out of our SM2s, guys. They are not in... They have a certain number. Uh, I think 64 uh, for a uh, an Ollie Burke. And I think a similar number for the 054 for HQ-16. I forget exactly. Six miles away now. However, for some reason, the Spaniard uh, guns weren't firing straight. The Sea Wizards. Why? I don't know. You know, it's just... That's beyond me, unfortunately. Um, it's just unfortunate they, uh, that they were. Uh, I would suggest probably Cortana. The best thing you can do is just put your face into something. Um, oh, two attack. Okay, they went down with a fight. Two Corvettes were destroyed. Two Indian Corvettes were destroyed. So that's the thing. Also, also, there's no SM2s. The Indians are out of SM2s. I know they don't fight SM2s in real life. Again, it's the analog we've got. So there are going to be hits on Indian ships. Revenge from the ghost Spaniard Armada. Here's Sea Wiz. It's shooting straight. It's shooting straight. Whoa! Oh, I got blown up just in time. And the tours are out. Was tours, yeah. The tours are from the Kuznetsov. Does the Kiev have those? I don't know. Come on, let's get at least one 400 pound warhead on their face. Unlike the uh, Spaniards, they are shooting straight. I think he's out of Seawiz ammo. That's a 400 pound warhead in the bridge, in the midships. Boom, good shot. Good shot, dead Spaniards. There are more coming out, but the now the tours have started. It's a third sunk ship, that one on the port side front. Now, there was claims that the Russian Russians fire infinite tours. They're not. They are modelled, but there's like n hundreds on board of Kuznetsov if you go and research it. So that's why. And they're reloading um, uh, things. Well, someone told me that anyway, so I'm going to guess it's, I guess it's right. Come on, get another one through. Sink a ship. I want you to sink a ship. Too good. And look, they will just fire and fire and fire and fire. Uh, from uh, these VLS launchers here. Those are them. Firing those sons of gun tours out. Here comes Coltana. Can she get through any tours? Along with the harpoons, she can at least distract them, which is actually a good thing to do because there's a bunch of harpoons right behind you, Coltana. If you can yep, distract them. That is the exact plan. Try them and stay alive. That would be for a few seconds. That would really help them get through. They're so good, those tours. Right, this one's coming. No, okay. You do not have them firing at you at the moment. They don't see you yeah. as a threat. But you can do a kinematic face plant, maybe. Okay, they are firing at you now. Now, can she notch that missile to allow these harpoons to get through? It's tying up that fire control radar. One's dead. Two's dead. Good job, Cortana. Do it again. Yeah, come on. She's in so close now, it's very hard to make a notch down there. Might work. Yes, yes. It's, it's working. She's She survived. What the hell are you surviving? Amazing work. This is how legends are made. 
I don't know how you survived that. But it's worked! And the missile's gonna hit! The missile's gonna hit! Oh, oh no! Shot number though. Missiles are on the carrier! Missiles are hitting the carrier! Come on! Die! Oh, you're so good! A freaking carrier is so good! Almost, Cortana. It was a very worthy effort. A very worthy oh, effort. Word. They almost hit. And they were going for the carrier as well. I mean, technically, oh. God forbid what could have happened there. Never mind. Impressive. Oh, Simba was just Simba was just arriving as well. Woo! That was close. Okay, so two Corvettes sunk and one Arleigh Burke damaged. Is there anything else? They've got loads of lightnings. I should have put a Game Master slot in. I could have told them to chase in. And There is a thing called Turner. They've got a Corvette out in the middle of nowhere that is just dying to be bombed. FYI. Sure, I, don't I think, can bomb it. I don't think you're getting near the um, main fleet now because they're, they're, well, they don't, don't have SM2s, but they do still have uh, five mile, you know, those things you were just fighting, which are basically impossible to fight. I have mm. to shut down the FC3 jets. Unfortunately, too, uh... you do, yeah, and open the canopy, I think. So uh, that's just yep. a thing. Uh, Simba, it is what it is. Simba's trying his luck at all of the F35 Lightnings in the world. Good luck at all of the F35 Lightnings in the world, Simba. We wish you the best. How does this thing uh, use the laser guided bombs, or does it? Ha, ah, that's interesting. Um, it will be what you fly. It will be exactly as the Su twenty five T, if that makes any sense to you. I could maybe talk you through it as you're going. Uh, yes, it does have a point track as well. Uh... Okay. Let's. Uh... I wonder how much I can. You know, you know what we did it on? We did it, you know when we were flying um, stealth F-117 and dropping laser-guided bombs through that mechanism mm -hmm. on the carrier? It's going to be the same mechanism as that. I was trying to talk to you guys through it as we did it last time. It's going to be a splash timber. I think, don't think they're fighting anymore. Those lightnings have basically run out of orders, valued viewers. They don't know what to do anymore. Uh, so they're just going to, you know, I, I obviously didn't have anything more for them to do. Uh, they might fire back, I don't know. Simba's just going to chew them up otherwise. Uh, amount of lightnings left 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 left. So 12 were shot down. Uh, 12 were remaining. Plus Cortana. It's been, it's weird. It's been a really good match. Uh, and the funny thing is, the uh, Valley viewers, they've seen so many of these matches now, they called it. They called exactly what was going to happen. Which I didn't actually think was going to happen, but. Oh, the, look at that still. He just changed the angle slightly. He couldn't see him anymore. So cheaty, those aircraft. Ah, no amount of stealth is stopping an archer. No amount of stealth is stopping an archer. You know what I found out the other day, guys? Archer is from 1982 or before 1982. No wonder it can't compare to a uh, A9X. Good shot. They're still good missiles. Oh, Simba Wimba. That you. was a cheeky shot. It was a cheeky shot. Look at Simba trying to notch it. He's got the kinematics, but he doesn't have the radar signature. And he just found him so easy, being so close. Right, we're just waiting for the last attack now from uh, uh, Cortana. Okay, all of the F-35s are RTB to Rota for some reason. Even though they've got a perfectly good base where Cortana is, a blue base. Oh, he's not going to stop in time. That is an expensive way of blowing up. No, it's not. It is. I don't think I've ever done air to ground in... We believe. Yes. Look, she's got laser-guided bombs, valid viewers. She's going to try and bomb that lost Corvette to get a bit of pride back for the Spaniards. Right, this is almost certainly a one-way mission, so I'd suggest just burning the fuel off to make sure we can't go there. But it's up to you. F-35. Yeah, that off. makes sense to me. Simba Wimba, let's see what Simba Wimba's how he's responding. He's airborne with adders. And he is not a happy man, even though he's one, but still not a happy man because he's never a happy man. Okay, so how does air to ground actually work? Okay, so seven to air to ground mode. O to get the teapot up and report back. I don't think it's going to because I'm in VR. Oh really? No, it's, I think it's because she's in the air-to-air -air version, not the air-to-ground. Oh, in the air-to-air -air version. No, yeah, my apologies. Can she still drop the dump bombs dumb? 
Because it doesn't have any Sam's to shoot back. Yes, because she should have a, a bomb fall line. You should have a BFL. I do, I do have a BFL. Let oh. me make sure that there's a cross at the bottom of it. Otherwise, this is going to be. Yeah, there's it, not going to be. There, there won't be a cross at the bottom of it. The very bottom of the fall line is where the cross would be. So the way I'd suggest okay. fifteen right. one five degree dive. And then the symbology will become obvious uh, if you do a 15 degree dive. I know because I was doing it the other day. Okay, welcome back, Valley Viewers. Uh, Cortana's had a minor error with the well, mission, the plane we set her up in. Some electronics have gone faulty. So she's going to have to drop these GBUs by eye on a Molymnia, which is a small Corvette, which is moving um, very fast. And as I always like to say, Valley Viewers, very much a Cortana problem. Um, no, there's no point vectoring out the main fleet because the the the, the SA one fires are just too powerful. Um, I've got actually. Mm -hmm. That said, it's not going to target the bombs if I come in from vertically enough. Try it. I might be able to damage the carrier. The tours do have a fairly reasonable uh, ceiling. Roger, you do have plenty of warhead there, uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, let me go and see what you've got. They're five hundred pounders. You've got five hundred. You got two thousand pound. You got you got Mark eighty four. Oh, these then. are no. These are the these are the uh, uh, the GBU sixteens. Oh. Thousand pounders. Wow, four thousand pounds of bomb. You can't sink a carrier, but you can actually put her out of action, uh, which is um, which is a draw essentially. You don't have, remember valid viewers according to the rules we laid out. You don't have to destroy everything like they have. You just stable the carrier so it can't move anymore then that's your side done, you know. So we'll see. However, I must admit Simba Wimber is not happy about this, and he's going like the clappers, but let's see, because that jet doesn't have much fuel. I'm aware of that also. <laughs> no one knows what's going to happen here. This is what we call a fun finale, valued viewers. A fun finale. Distance between Cortana and Simba is 45 miles. However, he's coming on a flank. Uh, who knows? Speed, Cortana is. Ground speed, 900 plus. Simba, ground speed, 600. Ooh, now that's a big difference. Uh, both relatively high. Wonder what their fuel loads are like. Ooh, both single-engine aircraft. Uh, anything could happen here. Anything could happen here, valued viewers. This is what the Valley viewers pay their Patreon for. Valley, who are you? Uh, pilots. Interesting technique from Cortana. That is literally the opposite of what, what I would have done. However, I'm not going to pretend that I'm as clever as Cortana. So that's trust in faith. Trust in faith. I would have gone, if it was me, Valley viewers, I would have gone bup, 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 around there because I know he wouldn't have the fuel. Oh, there's a thing. Don't get me wrong, we all love our Simba Wimba, but that said, I really don't rate his chances in this. It's much better than an adder. Is it better than an adder in real life? I don't know, but I don't know, probably. Fast missile. It's called flying formation with a missile, valid viewers. That is literally flying formation with a missile. I don't think I've ever seen them that close before. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No, it didn't kill him, but what he did is it used all his fuel up and turned him cold and got him slow. Amazing missile there. That I can probably use. Yep. Okay. So that's put him right off. Now she can get her burners on and get the chuff out of there. Poor Simba's had to lose all of his attitude and all of his energy. Look, uh, amazing job dodging there, Simba. That was a extre extremely difficult missile, 2,000 knot missile to dodge. I'm also worried about Simba's fuel load. One thing that does not have is a lot of fuel, and one thing that does do is burn a lot of fuel. And I don't think he can catch up. He'd need a Delta 200 knot to catch up, which is not an easy thing to achieve at this point. But one thing we know about Simba, he's a bit like a dog. He will not let go of that shoe. He will not let go of that bone. So we'll see. We will see, valid viewers. You never know. This could still be a draw for the Spaniards. This is why we have a lot of people going, why do you have the human players in cap? 
I don't like humans. Well, this is why. So you get something different. You get human brains. There's only so much you can make the AI do, and basically it's not very much. So you get a human in here. You really never know what could happen. Right, let's do some speed checks. LA speed check. Cortana's 860 knots. Simba is. Ooh, he's run out of fuel. Bless you, cotton socks. Simba is up. Oh, no, he's not. He's going for something different. Oh, I actually have to be careful. I'm going to run out of fuel. Appears to be a Cortana problem. Uh, 30 miles, 30 miles. Plus a lot of that might be a kinematic dive. Oh, who knows what's going to happen. Cortana is using her air wing as cover. That is cheeky. I've not seen that one before. Now Simba doesn't know which one is Cortana. Look at his little brain going. Look at his little man brain going. Oh. Fire that missile. Fire that missile. He doesn't know what to fire at. Adder versus, uh, what's it called? Adder versus Amram. I think our beloved Simba's about to get a crack nose. Look at him struggling to stay alive. Did you survive? You did. What a notch. What a notch. And he did also shoot at the wrong guy. So Cortana's free. At a six mile merge. Simba has now become the hunted. And he is evacuating incredibly quickly. And recommitting. There they are. They've merged pretty much. Oh, 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 oh. No! They've neutralized each other. <laughs> oh, the missile just took Simba's paint off. Become, well, become I that effectively ended my uh, air to ground. <laughs> oh run. no! We'll finish it with style then. Is a missile has gone somewhere? I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Left control and W to dump the bombs a few times. Left control and W to dump the bombs a few times. It might only work in straight level flight. I don't know. What's also problematic is that I don't think I'm going to have fuel to actually commit, complete this fight. No. I think that might be relevant to both of you, Cortana. Oh! Both in the ocean. Both in the ocean. Wow. This is the problem with Cortana. So she's like she's like a pit bull terrier. She will not let go of a fight. Amazing work. And it I, worked uh, as well. I was so close to blackout. The only thing I could see was Simba. <laughs> That's great. Guys, what an amazing... Was... Yes? I was pretty much the same looking over my left shoulder. Amazing, guys. Really well done. Now, both of you did amazing missile work there all the way around. Uh, like the best I've seen. Really good work. Let's do the fight. Uh, the So the, the Indians just won. Uh, the missiles, better missiles, firing more of them. It was probably the supersonic missiles that won it in the end. Spain didn't really have anything to reply. Plus, their sea whizzes weren't working. There's nothing I can do about that. You know, something's wrong in the mod. Cortana did amazing work trying to save her fleet. She shot down a lot of the sunburns, or the whatever, the shipwrecks. But just one got through in the end. You couldn't write this stuff. Uh, got through, it sunk the carrier. After that, uh, she did some valiant work, but not enough to damage the carrier. And then she went on a massive rampage. But as Cortana does, she saw red and the dogfight had to happen. And uh, it was a really good dogfight. And uh, really good. Weirdly, just like the Valley viewers said, the Indians win the ground fight. The, the uh, Spaniards win the air fight. But the ground fight is what matters here. Really good match, guys. Chuffed with that. Anything to add, Cortana? No, nope, not really. And Simba Wimba. Uh, it was good fun. Uh, great flying, guys. And I will uh, see you later.